Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely going to love my channel. So make sure you like and subscribe. Check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. In this video, we will be going over the April issue of Vogue. And I am so excited about this one. I'm honestly more excited about this one than any Vogue ever that I have read. And that is because we have Cara Delphine on the cover discussing her latest struggles and her journey. As you know, she lately had a horrible downfall and she has lately pulled herself right out from it. So that is so cool to know. But also in this issue, we have an article from Balenciaga talking about their latest controversy. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. So on the cover, we have Cara Delphine, and I am so excited for her article. On the first page, we actually have Ralph Lauren, which I'm really surprised about because they are never front and center. Continuing with Mr. Lauren, a lot of color for pieces for this year. Now we have a beautiful black and white Dior photo and this handbag. I'm still really interested in this handbag. I want to see more of it. So this one actually surprised me because usually we don't have an ad this soon into the book. However, this time we actually have an ad only a few pages in, which makes me wonder how much they paid for that. Then we have Prada and this one is actually really cool because the gold and the material really makes it look like she was covered in gold and then it turned into like a statue. So this looks so cool and so armor-like and 100% a yes. Agari, now once again, we have this necklace and this serpent is so cool. Of course, you know, it reminds me of Medusa and this is just such a beautiful piece. I really, really would love to add that to my collection. And now we have Armani, and the blue is actually really cute. Very Alexander McQueen-like. However, for Armani, I must say I prefer Gianni. For Van Cleef, this is actually a beautiful watch. It's like Tinkerbell, but more of an adult version of it, more sophisticated, and it's so beautiful. I really do love it. Now we actually have an ad that I can back up and I can stand by, because this is my favorite foundation, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I actually mix it with the Lancome Tint Idol foundation and I get the perfect amount of coverage. It lasts all day. So this ad 100% I stand by. Here we have this issue's index of Vogue so we can see what this magazine will have to offer. And then we do have a beautiful Chanel perfume sample. Here is the beautiful Versace. However, I must say we did see this exact photo in last month's issue. And I've been realizing that Vogue does reuse their photos in the next months. So I'm like, is that really fair to the consumers to show something that you've already shown before? Next page, we have Kylie Jenner looking beautiful and seductive in Dolce & Gabbana. So, so beautiful. Now we have Belmont, which I'm actually really happy to see Belmont because I haven't really been seeing them in the Vogue magazines. And they are a classic brand. They have been a little bit better a couple of years ago. The last two years, I can't really say they were the best, but I really do like them on. So for Banana Republic, I had to include this because of the camel. How cute is this camel? I love animals. They are so innocent and so pure. So 100% Mr. Camel, you are included in my video. Now for this, this is actually a really, really popular cologne and perfume. I believe it's called Barack if I'm not mistaken. I can't really remember the name, but I've been hearing it everywhere. It's like a $400 cologne. It's supposed to be really, really good. But the good thing is if you do buy it, you can just take it back to refill it for like 70 bucks. So in that sense, it's kind of a good investment because you never have to rebuy the full thing. This page was important for me to show because lately we do have a lot of human rights issues. And yes, it does include LGBT rights. There's a lot of bad stuff going on that we do have to stand up against. So this one, I honestly just had to include this page. Now we have some tropical skincare items that Vogue is recommending. However, personally, I haven't tried any of this. So, you know, I don't want to recommend something to you that I personally haven't tried. But there are a couple of things in the magazine that I do stand by. Lately, I have been getting into books. I have quite the book collection, I am proud to say. I can nearly even start a library. So, in case you're interested in books too, here are a few recommended books. And now we begin with the Cara page, and this is so interesting. Of course, it starts saying that, of course, you know, she is a model and she is 30 years old. And it really gets into what the article will be about and really just about slowing down and taking care of yourself. The article goes into her home decor and how she has a David Bowie room, a ball pit in her house, a trampoline, and so much more, saying that it's a really, really fun house, a place where you can come and get away and kind of feel like a kid again. It also mentions a 4.2 earthquake near Malibu, her two dogs, a Pomeranian Husky and a Chihuahua. She does state that if you have any problems, going into the spotlight will not help it. 
it will only exaggerate it and make it 10 times worse. It also states by going into her 30s, she wanted to live her 20s one last good time. So she really, really went for it. Like I said, seeing the pictures made her realize that approaching 30 years old, she really wanted to change some of her ways. Next, we have some beautiful outfits and I believe it's from Marc Jacobs, Versace and Shifanshi all mixed in together. However, on the right, the hoodie with the Christmas lights on it, so cute and it actually reminds me of my Shein Batista hoodie kind of in a way, which I do have a video on that hoodie and that collection. So check that out if you're interested. And now we have the famous Balenciaga article. Of course, they had their latest controversy, which included children being photographed with backpacks of bears, which had a giant like Moschino vibe. I will say that the bear backpacks are very Moschino to where they're like very edgy. They have like a harness on, very like punk rock. However, for a child, I do see where it is completely inappropriate. And in this article, the creative director does state that one of the issues that did take Place was they were going to have an upcoming line at the end of the year and they wanted to go ahead and promote it sooner than later. And the article states that they didn't realize by putting everything out that some items might not mix well with others and then also shouldn't be photographed with children, but they should have had adult models. The creative director at Balenciaga says that he does take responsibility for it and it was an oversight. They do have a lot new editorial controls to where this would never happen again. They now have an entire team that will specifically look for anything wrong with their campaigns before they're published. And I did create a three-year partnership with the National Children's Alliance. And I actually didn't realize, but this article does continue on page 130, which I did not photograph, but if you do get the magazine, you do have more questions answered. Next, we have one of my favorite models. She is just so beautiful. And I also love the giant flower on the right side of the magazine as well. So beautiful and honestly, all of these beautiful colors mixed together really reminds me of this fabulous character from Murder Mystery 2. I do not know her name, but the photo will be up on screen. She is one of the most beautiful women I have ever seen. And I feel like if you mix all of these colors together and make a dress out of it, 100% her vibe. So I totally had to include this. On the next page, we see a beautiful nature shot and I love nature. I love water and trees and just being outside and it's just so beautiful. Here we have some more beautiful and unique dresses. Now the orange and black and yellow one, 100% my character's vibe again, like so beautiful and she would look amazing in that. Now we have one of my favorite dogs ever, which is a Doberman. I would love to have two Dobermans to walk around and they could both wear diamond collars and it would just be such an iconic moment. Next, we have some Vogue recommendations that are very hot this summer and this fall. And I will say my favorite piece is in the top right corner, we do have the green Fendi hat with the pocket on the hat. I honestly love that. A little pouch on your hat, so adorably cute. Next, we have what I call the Aladdin Genie Lamp shoe. And this is so beautiful. How unique is the shoe on the left? It is from Bottega. And you know, just honestly, just like what an art piece and how cool is that? And then on the right, Dolce & Gabbana are oh, so Egyptian. This photo is the nails, the jewelry, such like Egyptian queen vibes and I am loving it. And then for the last page, it is very steamy and hot. So I had to include it. Here is a his and hers cologne and perfume set. So, so beautiful and oomph. And then to end the magazine, we will be ending it with Gucci this time. What a beautiful shot. And of course, we all love Gucci. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below. Tell me what you thought from the Cara article and from the Balenciaga article. And have a great day. Au revoir.